Since we've recently been working on heat flow based on the first and second law of balances, I thought we could do an actual worked example of steady state temperature distribution uh, using the heat equation. So let's start with the heat equation for this example. C bar, uh, constant heat capacity, uh, is times the density, which will be a constant in this example as well, times the time derivative, the partial derivative of temperature with respect to time, partial T, partial time, equals thermal conductivity, partial squared temperature, or partial X squared, plus Q here. We'll set Q equal to zero for this example, let's neglect it. Here's additional information with this problem. T at position X, time equals zero, equals F of X. Okay. With the partial derivative dt dx at position x equals zero is equal to zero, meaning no heat is entering or leaving at that at that uh, position in space. Derivative of the the, the uh, temperature with respect to the position is zero. Similarly, at the other end, we have del t del x x equals l equals zero. So this is an example of a rod that has an additional temperature distribution. But at both ends, there is no heat entering or leaving, since there's no gradient in the temperature as a function of position. So how do we solve this problem? First, let's look at steady state. Get rid of this. Divide by k, you end up with the following differential equation now, instead of partial differential equation, d squared t dx squared at steady state. Now all we have to do is integrate this uh, equation twice, and we have the form of solution we need. To do this, we separate it out. So you end up with 0 equals d by dx of dt dx. Okay? Divide by dx, essentially. End up with 0 dx on this side. Integral equals integral of d dt dx on this side. Integrate this out, you end up with a constant equals dt dx. To solve this equation, we need to integrate it one more time. So I'm going to erase this up here. We don't need it any longer. And start with c equals dt dx. So integral of we can divide through by dx again, multiply through by dx again, the integral of c dx equals integral over the temperatures. So that what you end up with is what we've predicted by voting in class. Temperature distribution t equals c, I'll call it c1 now, to distinguish it from the other, plus c2. At this stage, we apply boundary conditions. This is the solution, this is the temperature distribution at steady state as a function of uh, position. But we don't know what C1 and C2 are, and this is where the boundary and initial conditions come in. So first, dt dx at equals equal zero. dt dx equals C1. dt dx equals C1 equals uh, dt dx at x equals zero, I should say, equals C1, which gives us C1 equals zero. Okay, C1 equals zero. Let's look at the second boundary condition. We have dt dx at x equals L equals zero equals C1. So all we get out of both boundary conditions is the fact that C1 equals zero. So then our solution to the temperature distribution as a function of position t as a function of x must be equal to a constant C2. Now the question is, what is this constant temperature C2? In order to figure out what C2 is, we have to use the initial conditions as well as the concept from the first uh, law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy. Since there is no heat energy leaving either end of this virtual rod, then the energy has to be the same at the beginning of the process as well as at the end of the process. So we're going to work that through now. Temperature distribution is a function of position is equal to C2. Put that over here. T of x equals 
equals C2. And this corresponds, actually, with T at X, T tending towards infinity. Okay? This has to be the same uh, energy with this system as the energy we started with. So what's the energy we started with for the system? E at T equals 0 equals the integral from 0 to L of C bar rho T is a function of x dx. Specific heat capacity density times the uh, temperature distribution of function of x integrated from 0 to L gives you the total energy content in the rod at the initial starting point. So this is equal to E, we can't do much with this yet, T equals 0 equals C bar, those are constants in this example, we can pull them out, integral 0 to L, F of x dx, by substituting in our initial condition. Now what's, what's important is that this, this initial energy matches the final energy. So E is a function at time as it tends towards infinity as you're approaching steady state, going to be the same type of equation. Equals C bar rho integral 0 to L of T at position x comma T tends to infinity dx. So what is T at position x as T tends to infinity? That's equal to what our solution is for the steady state equation C2. So what we have is that E as time goes to infinity is equal to C bar rho times the constant C2 times the length. When you integrate that out, this is what you get. To find what C2 is, we set this E as time goes to infinity equal to the initial energy in the system and solve. So let's uh, leave, let's uh, rewrite it up on top so it's easy to see. So we have E at T equals zero equals this. Then we use this requirement that E at T equals zero equals E as T tends to infinity. Substitute in for these two equations and then you're done. So then what you end up with is C bar rho integral, I'm gonna just erase this right here and rewrite it in the equality. C bar rho integral zero to L F of X dx must equal C bar rho C2 times L. So what does C2 equal? Then you get C2, the steady state temperature distribution must be equal to 1 over L integral 0 to L F of X dx. So this is a kind of a small trick to this problem. It's not as, as simple as other heat examples, if we, but it's really, really simple. And all you have to do is use the first law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy, to end up with the temperature distribution, T as a function of x, is a constant. And the constant is 1 over L integral 0 to L F of x dx. And that's the answer. If you had a functional form for f of x, you could substitute it in and solve the integral. That is uh, less important than actually this general solution here for that type of problem. Uh, that concludes uh, this uh, little homework uh, bonus.